gracious good morning sports fans we are getting set to go here our first game this morning will feature Danforth duking it out with the NL best here comes the opening face off and we are underway Thank you for joining us here, coming to you live from the Notre Dame Arena. And we have our first stop already. Nothing better than uh, joining us for some of the best ball hockey we have in Canada, along with probably some uh, cup of coffee for many of you. Having some technical difficulties, bear with us here. best ah, here you go just like that called it on cue and it looks like we're about ready to return to action here Kicks it out, looks for the slap shot, takes it. It goes towards the corner. Now we're going to have a battle for it in front of the goalie. We're trying to clear it out. Cap in, though, from the blue line, tries to pass it over to the side from the flat, takes a shot. A lot of traffic in front of the goalie, and he's going to hold on to it as it gets a little chippy there. And our just two minutes into this game here. Back to live action after the ball is dropped. Now it's heading back the other way. Bringing it in, looking to set up. Hard pressure. Hustles back and picks it up. That's a good job defensively. A great job defensively, in fact.
Waiting for this uh, face up to take place here. And it is one and kept alive by Danforth. Trying to dump it in behind the goal. Looking to center it, but rolling on it and holding on to it is going to be Van uh, Trevor Van Dyke. And we're going to do it all over again. Trying to clear it out. Hustling back the other way, taking a look, centers it, but we're gonna have a stop and play. Now coming back to pick it up, kind of behind Trevor Van Dyke. And now we're going to have a face-off just outside the blue line. All right, not sure what was all the... Uh, to do, but now we're finally back to live action here. About 9.05 to go here in the first period. Thanks for joining us on home team as it is NL's best price versus Danforth Knights. And now we're going to have another face off again just outside the blue line. And it's one, trying to use a little bit of those wheels. Whistles it around the end boards. Comes after it, it goes by the goalie. The goalie's gonna tee it up. go hustling on down as a counter opportunity pumps the fake tries to get the wraparound shoots and scores oh a dandy play there did not protect the post and taking advantage of it getting the first goal of the game doing the celebration giving the high fives as he will now make his way back towards the face off circle that first goal coming from number nine and that is Michael Murphy. First goal of the game goes to the forward number nine for NL Best, Michael Murphy. Now there's stop and play though. We're having a hard time getting some flow early in this game, although it's one zip, NL best on top. That is NL best price roofing to be precise. Danforth looking for the equalizer. Face off is one, takes a backhand and got a lot on that one. That was a pretty interesting shot by Robert White. It's gonna lead to another face off to the right of the Danforth goal. The draw is won cleanly by Roofing.
Trying to get it to the center. Instead is going to whistle it around the end boards. Battle for it in the corner. Kept alive temporarily. Oh, there's going to be a cross check. That's a pretty easy one to call on number 72, Greg Dorman, Droman. Drohan is going to spend some time in the sin bin. Now with the extra attacker until it's touched. I believe it is. And now it will be already with a one goal advantage. NL Best will be going on the power play. That was that was a ill-advised cross check there by Drohan. And with it, he will get some time to himself over there to reflect on what he did. And wait for the ensuing faceoff here to see. Hopefully his team can PK this one. Otherwise, it'll be a, a quick, big advantage for the best. Had to chase after it after it getting dumped down. Now they'll set up. Good defensive hold right there. The, the uh, Knights are blocking entry into the attack zone. Finally get it in. Wants to set it up. Swings it over, left side. Back to the opposite end. Whistles it around. Look at this. To the point. Takes the slap shot off the mark. But play continues in the attack zone. Continuing to cycle it around. Looking for that angle. Now it goes over. Walking it towards the center. Tried to blister the pass down to Daryl Smith. But he was unable to hold on to it. It ricochets up, hits the netting, and we'll have another faceoff after both teams change up their special team units. And here comes the face-off. With it is Danforth. They're in the dark jerseys on the PK, trying to clear it out, and they do so. But it's taken right back. A good job there. Oh, but are they going to be able to clear it after all? And they do. Both teams doing a good job of sticking to the ball, continuing to try to poke at it. Uh, fortunately, that time for Danforth, they were able to get it all the way down. They'll set up again from the point. Oh, it's Michael Gambin. Takes the slap shot off the mark. And one a, takes it, shoots it, holds on to it. Oh, I beg your pardon, folks. Had a sneeze coming there. Uh, but a good job killing off that penalty by Danforth. And then gets another nice save by Trevor Van Dyke uh, to keep it one zip with 5 and 16 to go here in the first period. Oh, but are we going to have a penalty now? Another one. Doing a quick count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. No, actually, it doesn't appear to be. There's the face off. It goes behind the goalie. Battle for it at the half boards. And now rushing it up the floor. Goes and gets it. 
and trying to clear it back out for NL Best. Nice job sweeping it away, but it's intercepted right back. That looks like it's onside. Takes a long slap shot, not high percentage. Gets a good ricochet on the attack. This is not a power play, though, folks. And now clearing it out and bringing it back the other way. The goalie slows it up. That's going to allow Daryl Smith to go get it. This he'll take one pass to get it into the neutral zone. Looking to set up the attack. One zip, still our score. The only goal of the game coming from Michael Murphy in the first two minutes of the game. Uh, oh, man, was that thing sitting there forever. Nobody picks it up. Finally trying to clear it out are the Knights, and they're able to do so, chasing it down. Transition game here now. Gets it on the goalie, but uh, good defensive help comes quickly. Robert White tried to clear it, but he got his bell rung there by Tom Kolkis, and that'll lead us to another faceoff here just outside the blue line. Only a couple of changes to the lineup. Now a couple of late changes. Oh, and we're going to have another power play coming up here for NL Best. As I didn't see it, I didn't see the number, but we have somebody just heading to the box, the penalty box, once again from Danforth. And so for the second time in this first period, the Knights are going to have to PK if they want to avoid a two-zip deficit. NL Best on the power play coming up here. And while I didn't see it, I respect that the officials are doing what they have to do to keep this from getting chippy. And uh, we've seen that a few. I mean, obviously, it's the nature of sports. And this is a contact sport. But safety of all the players is, first and foremost, the number one concern. Good, oh, good centering pass. Unable, though, to take that shot. So now it's going to be cycled around. Has it at the point. Right side flat. Takes a long shot. Goalie kind of uses his shoulder to deflect it away. Minute 25 remaining here in the man advantage. Three minutes here in the first period. From the point, once again, gets down to the right side. Wants to get it down to the wing, I believe. And finally does so. Right there around the end line. Back out to the flag, takes a shot just off the mark. Good traffic there again in front of the goalie. Now it appears temporarily to be intercepted. It is, and it'll be cleared all the way down, killing off some of the valuable time here of the man advantage for the NL Best. They chase it and bring it back. It's behind the goal as there's a battle for it. One of the Danforth players ended up on the carpet. But he's okay. He gets back up. Nice cycling it around. Gets it to a wide open left side flat. Back out to the point. Can't handle it properly. Now he gets control of it. Gets it down to the wing. But again, a missed pass. And it goes down and ends up being a scrum on the end boards. Power play is over. Both teams back at even strength as we're nearing the final 90 seconds here of period number one. The only goal of the game, Michael Murphy back at the two minutes in. Long slap shot looking to tie it up. Trevor Van Dyke is able to see that, or excuse me, um, that it's 
uh, John Walsh, I believe. <clears throat> Look at this, counter opportunity again the other way. Gets a little bit of space, takes a shot. Second effort, two times, three times. Still has it, looking for the wraparound. Should have centered it, waited too long. Now the defense gets there. Under a minute to go here in the period. Takes a weird angled shot. Now they're gonna try for another wraparound. Play continues. I thought there was a stop. It goes all the way back out to the blue line. Thought about the slap shot. Gets it down low. Has an angle. Oh, what a pass on net. And now they're going to take another. A flurry of action here in the final minute. A great job of continuing to sustain the pressure offensively by NL Best, but an even better job by the Knights defensively to hold the line. Long slap shot just off the mark. Just getting a toe on that one was the goalie. We're down to under 10 seconds to go here in the first period. Looks like we'll have time for about one more play and face off after the line changes. Here it comes to the left of the goalie. To the left of Van Dyke. Whistles it all the way down. Is that going to be an icing or did we finish the first? Nope. Looks like we're going to have to do it one more time. And here comes the faceoff once again to the left of the goal. Two seconds remaining here in the period. And that will do it for the first period. So at the end of one, the lone goal of the game, Michael Murphy makes it one zip, NL best over Danforth. We'll have the second period for you when we return here from Notre Dame Arena. Continue to watch us on home team. Getting set to start the second period here of a one-zip game. NL Best jumped out to an early lead, held on to it throughout the remainder of the first, although there was a barrage. Two power plays and then a huge attack in the final minute by NL Best, but they were unable to 
increase their lead. And let's see if that helps Danforth, who trails. And El Best is in the light jerseys. It is Danforth in the darker jerseys. And it looks like we're going to have a face-off in the attack zone coming up here. Set to take the draw is Robert Briggs. But it is won by NL Best. And they're going to take their time and try to slowly, methodically bring it up. And now put some pressure there on the goalie. Unless there's been a change, I believe that's Trevor Van Dyke in the goal still for the Knights. The faceoff will be to his left. One cleanly there by the NL Best. Gets the shot. A lot of traffic. The goalie can't find it. And finally the whistle is blown as some sticks get lifted and the official is the cooler head to prevail. And we'll have another face off here. And it is actually David Clark in the goal for the Knights. So my apologize for that. Nice clean win there by the Knights. Can they get it up the floor? They're able to do so, but it will be an icing. So just about a minute here into the second period of a one-zip game. And not sure what's going on. We're looking at the wrong side here. All right. Fortunately, nothing happened down there. And <clears throat> now there's a battle for it at the end boards. Pulling it out is NL Best. They're still in the attack zone and onside. Dumps it back down. Tries to get somebody open. Behind the cage, wraparound attempt. Centered it, backhand off the mark. Now they get it again. They've done just a remarkable job there of continuing to keep the pressure and getting those second, third, and fourth chance opportunities. It is really lucky for Danforth they're only down by one with the pressure that NL Best has put on them. Now it gets cleared out to the neutral zone. Chased after it. And we'll set up. Back on the far end is the, the best. NL intercepted but forced the pass which leads to a turnover the other way and possession will still remain with NL best after we have a stop and play though Faceoff will be just outside the blue line. And it was at least 
for the time being one possession with the Knights. Still looking for a, really a shot on goal. Goes down hard. Let's see. And there is going to be a penalty called on that play. And so it'll be the first opportunity for the Danforth Knights to have the man advantage and potentially a chance to tie this one up. Two minutes is the time in the sin bin here. The faceoff will be to the left of John Walsh. But it is won cleanly by NL, and now they're going to actually force it all the way down for a second. I thought they were going to take a chance at a shorthanded goal. Trying to bring it in. Now they're just going to dump it in, but that certainly helps the, uh, the PK squad. And now another chip all the way back. Wants to bring it in, now chases after it. This time he gets it. Tries to wrap it around the end boards. Kicks it back out. Now they're in a more traditional set here for the power play. And it goes over into the netting and we'll have another face off. Eight oh nine to go here in the second stanza. Power play still here, forthcoming for the Knights. They trail the NL best by a score of one zip. Brings it all the way down again. Good job here by the Knights of continuing to get a stick on it and send it down the full court feel the play final seconds here of the man advantage at the point looking for somebody to kind of get some some kind of traffic in front of the goalie and they just are not they're relying on the shots and hoping to get by the goalie. Now there's a lot of traffic in front of the goal. And there's a hill of bodies that the officials are sorting out right now. Now the two officials are having a conversation. Would you prefer espresso or cappuccino? Well, you know, this time of morning, just give me some black coffee. I cannot be sure that's what they said. We don't have mics on them, but I kind of get the impression that is, in fact, what was said. All right, so we are going to have another person putting in the box uh, on NL Best. That's going to be, I'm not sure who it is. I don't have that jersey number on my roster, but number 19. And so now it's going to be a five on three, but not for very long, only for about one play, five seconds. So I suspect 
the Knights to take one quick shot regardless of what if they win the draw with 7.22 to go here in the second period. But the faceoff is cleared all the way down, and that'll end the first of the power play. Now we're back to just a traditional five on four. Trying to bring it in. Great closing defense there. Set to take this draw here for the Knights will be Jason Toth. He wants to draw it out to Rick Lee, who get a quick slap shot if they're lucky. And they're able to do so. Just did not get the shot off right away. Now they're just playing catch between the right side flat and the point. Now they start to do something with it, but just pesky. It's kind of like buzzing bees right now the defense for the NL best. Danforth not playing like they have the man advantage here. Back out to the point. Left side flat. Takes it, takes the shot, or at least tries to center it, and it's no longer on side. They got to chase back after it. Trying to hurry quick. And now we'll have a stop and play. And now both sides are chirping at the officials. Again, would were I able to hear what is being said to the officials would be wonderful. Well, I think the best, it wasn't exactly what they were hoping for, but they're getting the face off to take place just outside the blue line. And they're able to dump it down again. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining now in this second power play. Both teams have had two power plays. Neither has been able to convert one yet. Look at this, though. Had an opportunity, but just was past everybody and refused to shoot it quick enough. Now they get the shot. Easy save by the goalie. It is best price with it. And it gets sent all the way down the floor once again, allowing both teams to make some changes. We're back to even strength. Look at this counter opportunity for the Knights, but apparently it was called offsides. Wow, the referee had a real stern talking to there. It appears to uh, Daryl Smith. Now going to have a talk with the entire bench. Both refs have had a conversation with both benches. But you have to admit, imagine the emotions are getting sometimes the better of the players here. This is a big quarterfinal game. On a tournament they've been busting their humps all weekend and for that matter all year behind the goal the goalie comes out leaving it temporarily open that was uh, a gutsy move and another power play coming 
and you can see how upset he is on this one. The cross check coming there from uh, Ian Walsh. Ian Walsh is going to get called for a cross check. And just after the power play ends, another one's going to begin here for the Knights. This will be their third straight. The first two power plays were for the NL best. But again, both teams are over so far today on the man advantage. Faceoff is one. But we'll have to do it again. And here comes the ensuing faceoff. And able to get, send it all the way down again. That has been just a magnificent benefit here to NL Best is their ability on those faceoffs to poke check it all the way down when they're shorthanded. And they do so again. Now bringing it up for the Knights. Still trailing one zip. Oh, that looked like a good opportunity there. They just didn't shoot it. And now it gets chipped down and out again. Boy, I, I, if I'm the coach right now for the Knights, I'm telling them, just put the ball on gold. Did they just tie it up? There's no major celebration. Nope, I guess not. We'll just have a face-off again inside the attack zone while the power play continues. And it's dumped all the way down again. Bring it up. Long slap shot on the net. The goalie's going to have to hold this one as he had two players on each side crashing down hard on him. It's kept alive and onside at the point. 3.20 to go. Power play down to 20 seconds. Slab shot. Blocked and cleared down again. Forced to go chase it. The goalie helps out a little. Kept alive. That is onside. Wants to get it back. Slap shot from a tough angle. Missed. Cycles it back around. Gets it out to the point. Down to the wing. No drivers coming in. And looks like both teams are back to even strength. With 2 and 20 to go in the second period. Still only one goal coming early in the first period. That's where we're at. One zip. NL best on top. We have had five penalties in this game so far. The first two were on the Knights. The last three were called on the NL best squad.
officials are having a conversation again. Both teams are interested to hear what's going to be determined from this. You see a couple guys on each side. But nobody seems to be heading towards the box. The faceoff's just outside the blue line. Minute and 50 remaining here in the second period. Chase is after it, and we'll have another stop and play. somebody coming into the penalty box it does appear that's the case or is it going to be offsetting minors out while this is discussed. That is a four, this is going to be a four minute double minor here. Another opportunity again for the Knights to potentially tie this one up. They'll have more time to do it here in this double minor. But the faceoff is won right away by the best. And what they've done best is get the ball all the way down the floor. No icing due to the power play. Forcing the Danforth squad to chase after it and then bring it up. And then they're holding the blue line so well. Forcing the Knights to put it on goal and hopefully have him hold it up. Play continues. Trying to set it up. Number seven at the point. Whistles it down to the wing. Fairly uncontested. Back up to the point. Got uh, four defenders right in front of the goalie running that triangle. And if they get close enough, they'll try to sweep it away. I think they're worried about being too pretty. You got to put the ball on the net. Still with it, taking so much time. Look at him, and finally gets a slab shot through. Oh man, I was just being critical of him, but bingo, bango, boingo, that's gonna tie it up. I believe it was Rick Lee who got the goal. And that'll make it 1-1, one, one. and Apparently that will finish off the power play. I thought that it was still in the first two minutes. With 33 seconds remaining here in this period. For the NL best, they were just playing with fire. Too many straight power plays allowed to the Knights and Knights finally capitalize late in this second period 
Now we're back to even strength for the two teams. And a counter opportunity takes the shot. Oh, man, looking to take the lead there for the Knights. And now coming back the other way quickly is NL Best. And that looks like it will do it. But a late goal by Rick Lee on the power play has knotted this game one apiece between Danforth and NL Best. We'll have the third and final exciting period for you when we return. Keep it here on Home Team. We'll be back. Teams making their way back out on the floor. Thank you for joining us here at the Notre Dame Arena for this all-important quarterfinal game between the Danforth Knights and the NL Best. Third period faceoff has taken place. It's won cleanly by NL Best in the white jerseys. Danforth Knights in the dark ones. It's tied 1-1. Goals from Rick Lee and Michael Murphy, respectively, are why we are knotted at one. Waiting for the ensuing faceoff. And it clears all the way out. Chased after it. The goalie comes out to get it for the NL best. Hustles it up the floor, look for a counter opportunity, but a good job getting back there by the Knights. Behind the goalie. Now a change on the lineup there, on the fly. Some change in the offensive players, and now having to f go after it and actually covering it is uh, John Walsh, the goalie. So that's going to be an advantage for the Knights. They're going to have a opportunity to take a face off in the attack zone. 10.40 remaining here in regulation. 1-1 one, one score. And 
And the faceoff is one. Takes a, oh, tried to get a read deflect in front of the goalie. Unable to do so. Now another one comes his way, but nothing. And finally, it will be an opportunity to clear for NL Best. Ball's at the neutral zone. Fighting for it there at the corner. Kept alive. Chipped away. Trying to get it out to the neutral zone once again is the NL best. Danforth, though, really trying to keep it in the attack zone. Oh, had a chance at the center. Takes a weird deflection. And once again, John Walsh has to jump on it. And we'll have another stop and play with 9.50 to go. Still a 1-1 tie. So right now, it kind of feels like the momentum for the better part of the first, the full first period and much of the second was all in favor, at least the momentum and the, the, the spirit favored the best. But right now, it seems like more of the action has been for Danforth offensively. Brings it back out to the neutral zone. Battle for it now. Whistles it around. Trying to clear it out are the Knights. They do so, but I think they put too much on it. Although it's on goal, so the goalie has to protect it. That play avoids the icing. But now it is NL Best trying to bring it up quickly. Slows it up to let his teammates get onside. Continue to battle. Looking for control. Couldn't handle that one. It's gonna be intercepted by Best. But poke checked away. Still NL Best has it. Now they try to throw it up. That could be an icing. I believe it will be. And the faceoff will be to the right of the NL Best goalie and their goal. The draw is one. Put it on goal. Put it on goal. Finally takes a slap shot. Good save the first time. Play continues and trying to clear it out and doing so is the NL Best squad. But we have a player went down hard we hope he's okay. He's trying to right now get his wits amongst them. Both the goalie and one of the other players is taking a look at him. Now the trainer and the coach and one of the other officials comes. That official's telling everybody else, all right, give him some room. Let the uh, trainer do his job. There was a mass of bodies back there behind the goal, so you don't know what happened. But the good news is he appears to be walking off on his own accord. And no worse for the wear, but this might not come as a surprise to any of you watching this stream, but hockey players are pretty doggone tough. It always makes me think of the the Monty Python movie. It's just a flesh wound. You have your finger dangling. Let me play, coach. All right, getting set to drop the puck here once again. Returning to live action. The faceoff is won by NL Best. Cycles it around the half boards, trying to clear it out of the, the zone. It comes right back in, and the goalie has to sprawl out and cover it once again. 
Otherwise, it would have been a good opportunity there for the Knights to take their first lead of the game. Faceoff is one. Running it around, dropping it back the other way. NL Best desperately trying to get it out of their defensive zone. What a change it is, as I said, from the first and second period. Gets it behind the goalie. Now it comes back out to the neutral zone where a battle ensues. What a piece of stick handling to get the steal. Tries to take the shot. Does so. Whistles by. Gets a weird bounce off the end board. Play continues right now for NL Best. Looking for a second, third chance. They power it in. But the official is now the two refs are having major conversation I, I think it's a goal but they are going to have a conversation and that's a great opportunity it, and to take nothing away from best but those are what's called junk goals. You put the ball on the net and you wait for a second chance. If you've got bodies there, the likelihood is good. You're going to get the biscuit in the basket. And that's exactly what just happened there. I, I think what Danforth was claiming is that the, the ball was covered up and it, it should not have been allowed a goal, but it's going to stand. It's two to one with seven minutes remaining. NL Best back on top. Great job, though, on that play. And I think we're going to have offsetting minors here. might have been Robert White who got that last goal for NL Best. I'm trying to look at the replay the best I can. We're going to have a face-off, though, to the left of goalie John Walsh. But it is one cleanly. Man, is it getting chippy now. Brings it up, trying to add to their already huge, right now, one goal lead. It feels huge. Battle amongst the half boards, tries to clear it out. Does so, but it's still on side. Takes the shot, head. A mini freeze here to the action, but play continues. And the, as I said, the pace is so fast right now. We ta I talked earlier about how some of these games where it just seems like it's face-off stoppage, face-off stoppage, so forth. 
when you're getting end-to-end -end action, it is so exciting. Two to one, NL Best on top over the Danforth Knights. Five and 51 remaining in regulation here. Brings it all the way back down. That should be an icing. Nope, it's just going to be played on. Oh, no, there's the stop. I thought so. Five thirty-eight now remaining here in the third period. What has been a very, very tight game here. Face off is one quick slap shot just off the mark. Oh, baby. That's exactly how they drew it up, they being the NL best. The face off is one, sweeped it over. Perfect opportunity, one timer, just missed the mark. Play continues. Looking to tie it up now. Lays out for it. Four defenders are back. Almost looks like their, their penalty kill defense. Redirected. Now they're finally starting to put more shots on goal. Another injured player for the NL best squad. And they're going to bring this one to the left of the NL best goal. Oh, no, no. Or I guess they're going to bring it outside the blue line. I was fooled on that one myself. Waiting for this face-off to continue. Time now starting to windle away. Four and 38 to go. The face-off, though, is won by the Knights. They dump it in, chase after it. They're battle at the half boards. Trying to center it out to the middle. The goalie had it. Didn't hold on to it this time. Back it comes the other way. And forced to cover that one up once again is John Walsh. And that will allow both teams to change the lineups. Here comes the draw. And it goes out to the neutral zone. Brought back in, trying to center it. Good battle for it there. With under four minutes to go, the Knights are starting to get more on the desperate side. Look at that, nice play, should have shot it. Oh my goodness gracious. He was looking for the perfect pass instead. He should have just fired it in and hoped he got a rebound just like, um, like happened for the last goal by the best.
Foley comes out to make sure that it goes around and now an opportunity to clear it once again but good back check there by the Knights and now a major battle at the line and we'll have a whistle a stop and play Now they're having a conversation again, the officials. <laughs> this is this has been a very entertaining game to start the morning. Now they're bringing the two teams back out for the draw. Face off to the right of the NL best goal. A very late and deliberate substitution coming in. Oh no, that's not a substitution. That is a game misconduct. I did not see the number, but he is done for this game. And now we'll have a face-off. Ooh, you hate to see that. Yeah, as I talked about earlier, emotions get the better of you. It's the nature of the game. But you certainly don't want to see anything get taken too far. Shot on goal. Blocked. And now the best squad's able to clear it out. But it comes back in. Battle for it behind the goal. Second man through, coming up to help out. Play continues, bodies all over the place. Takes a long shot, two minutes to go. Another battle at the end board. The ref watching that one very tight. Oh, looking to take the shot, unable to hold on to the ball. Now he has to force it behind the end line again where another battle ensues. Both teams are gonna change it up again. And we'll have another stop and play. I was getting uh, spoiled in the middle of this period where it was just end-to-end -end action. And now we're back to more, more likely than, more the traditional where there's a lot of stops in play. That's onside, wants to clear it down. Attempts to, but a good job there. Still a battle behind the NL Best goal. Looking to clear it out again is Best. Finally gets it to the neutral zone. Under 90 seconds remaining now. And that could be an icing. And if it is, that's a great news for NL Best, they'll get a face-off down on the other end. Finally into their attack zone. We haven't been there much in this third period. Down to 76 seconds remaining here. Right now, that goal by Robert White proven to be the distance on the, the ball that was just put on the net. 
with a mass of bodies in front of it, chipped at and put in. And not sure how this happened, but the goalie has to jump on this one. Timeout is called. The 70 seconds remaining. Our next game is scheduled to start in about 10 minutes. But that is very dependent on what happens here. If Danforth is able to get the equalizer, we could be playing for a while. And the faceoff is won, but the battle ensues. Chasing down after it. Under a minute now. Waiting for the draw. This is where it could get exciting, folks. Faceoff is one. The Knights are able to bring it into the zone. Chase after it, bringing that extra attacker, I'm sure. I believe the goal is empty. Puts it on, and a great job doing what they do best to clear it all the way down. That's going to be an icing. It'll lead up some more time, though. We're down to 38 seconds, I believe. Okay, we're going to try this again. Right now, what Danforth has to do, I've talked about it several times throughout the game, is just pepper the NL best goalie, um, John Walsh, with shots and hope that they're able to get a second chance with a fat rebound and punch it in. Play continues, but I have no camera here. Don't know what's going on. Come on, switch it. Seven seconds remaining. Six, still no tie. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. I can only assume they did not get the tie goal. It appears this one has come to an end. Uh, nope, I guess not yet. Face off with the extra attacker. Brings it into the half boards, tries to center it. Kicked out of the way. That could just about do it. Nope, it's just going to be another icing. So it still remains 2-1. to one, NL best over Danforth. But time is now absolutely at the end. A clean faceoff by the NL best, but he can't clear it. Now they're battling for it. Puts it on net. Second effort. Tries to center it. Long shot. Redirected once again. Three seconds, two, and that's going to do it. 
Oh, it was a hard fought game, but in the end, it is the NL best price roofing is going to defeat Danforth two to one. What a game, folks. That is a fantastic way to start this day. Your heart goes out to Danforth. They played a great game, but give credit where credit is due. NL Best did a spectacular job throughout the day of when they had to, getting that ball cleared down the floor, and that was the difference. They get what you can call a junk goal early in the third period to take, a, or excuse me, in the second period to, to win it two to one that's going to just about wrap it up we'll have our next game coming back for you in about 10 minutes until then thanks for joining we'll be back on home team